uh, it's about 10x faster than basic entity framework core. If you ever worked with entity framework core and tried inserting thousands of records, you probably noticed it's painfully slow. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up inserts, updates and deletes in entity framework core with entity framework extensions. By the end of this video, you'll see how your performance gains up to 100x in just a couple lines of code. Let's see in action. Okay, let's start with some setup that I have here. So in order to test all of those things, I introduced DB context, which is connected to the Postgres database. And in the DB context, I have three main entities. The first one is customer, order, and order items. Order and order items are connected. Customer, it's not. I have bulk data generator. It's a, just a data generator that we are going to use for generating random data for all of three entities and also I have a couple of endpoints just to be able to test each one. Let's start with a problem with entity framework core bulk inserts. So what is the problem with entity framework core inserts? Entity framework core is great for working with relational databases but it was never designed for high volume operations. For example when you do something like this so you have add range async in this case i'm just creating a chunk so the complete list just to be sure not to get any timeouts from the database and when you have something like this and you have saved changes uh, entity framework will insert each record one by one uh, generating a new sql statement for each row and if you're inserting for example 50k records that means that 50k separate inserts will be created and that's not good for performance and that's where entity framework extensions comes in in order to install entity framework extensions a library you can go to manage nuget packages and you can type for z entity framework extensions entity framework core what is entity framework extensions library at all it's a library created by triple z projects that plugs right into entity framework core and replaces those rows by row inserts with bulk operations so instead of one statement per row it generates highly optimized sql with batching at bulk inserts so you can push thousands or even millions of rows into your database in seconds so here we have default insert for default entity framework behavior and here i have created zzz insert so instead of creating trunks and add it to the customer list that save changes on the database you have just one method that is immediately applied on a db level on a application db context level you don't need to write anything else you can just call bulk insert async the first thing we we have uh, ensuring that we have a clean state by deleting and creating database we will generate random customers data by passing number of customers that we need we will start a stopwatch for measuring performance though this is not a perfect way to measure performance instead of this we probably should use benchmark.net and here i will bulk insert all the customers with bulk insert async method from zzz project and in the end I will return just the object to see some necessary data, every engine I'm using currently, and what is the time this method executed. If I go to program CS, you will notice I have default insert with default number of customers, which is 10k, and I'm calling default insert. And in the same way, we have triple Z insert with a uh, method triple Z insert. Okay, I have prepared Postman, and here I. I have default insert and here I have triple Z insert. So let's try to execute both and to see performance comparison. Okay, so for the default insert, we have around three seconds to insert 10,000 customers. And now let's try with triple Z insert. With triple Z insert, it took less than one second. Let's try again just to make sure. Okay, we have less than two seconds. We have again less than two seconds, something like 1.8. 
1.8, 1.9 and for the triple Z we have now it's even faster we have around 300 milliseconds 260 200 milliseconds as you can see if you compare those two uh, it's about 10x faster than basic entity framework core and just to make sure that everything works fine you can see we have inserted records with some dummy data okay that's it same data same db context but behind the scenes entity framework extensions generates one big optimized batch insert and that's all you have at least 10x performance optimization and around 10k inserts the another thing uh, that we have here is insert optimized this method avoids returning identity or other output values after insertion under the hood entity framework extensions use temporary table when outputting values and instead of bulk insert optimized uses bulk copy directly into the destination table let's try to execute this optimized method as you can see this one is even faster it's around 100 milliseconds which is really really great it's almost 20x performance boost comparing with entity framework core so if you don't need to return identities or some other output value this is a great deal for you one feature that i really like here about inserting data is where you need to insert parent and child entities like i created here we have order and one order can have multiple items which is order item entity i have created a new method trial bulk insert and for the default insert we have default entity framework or behavior adding orders with order items included and by default this is going to be inserted in both tables with a foreign key connection and for triple z insert you can include graph so like i said if you want to insert for example order with related items order items you can also include those child entities automatically also we can try this one we have default insert trial endpoint which is generating 10,000 orders with two order items per order we can test it so as you can see default behavior by entity framework core will insert those records in about eight and a half seconds let's try again okay five seconds it's around five to six seconds let's try now with a triple z insert the first execution will create it in one and a half second after that one second less than one second so 700 milliseconds okay about 700 milliseconds which is about 7 to 8x performance boost as you can see inserting 20k records is much faster with with entity framework extensions and what about bulk updates and bulk deletes let me show you that also we have default updating behavior i will take some number of customers i will just update those save changes with the default entity framework behavior and stop that stopwatch for triple z update instead of save changes we have bulk update async method on the db context and all other things remain the same if i try to execute those two if i try to execute default update and for default update i put it 1000 customers that i want to update it took something around 400 milliseconds and just to show you the logs for updating so it's going to update each one separately and for triple z update i will get 140 less than 100 100 so it's about 100 milliseconds and here we can see that currently three to four times performance boost comparing to basic entity framework behavior on updating 1000 records and just to show you comment for triple z update as i said there is a created staging table for updating those records and this is the reason why is it faster right now to show you in uh, pg admin 4 all the records have been updated okay let's talk about delete if you take a look on bulk delete for default delete uh, statement uh, we will need to get all the customers from the database directly we will use remove range and we will save the changes on the db for triple z delete instead of remove range and save changes you have a bulk delete 
delete async from the entity framework extensions. Let's go back to Postman and if we test default delete, it took around 200 milliseconds. You can see the logs that all necessary customers are deleted. And if I try with triple Z delete, it took around 100 milliseconds or less. Performance are better with entity framework extensions. It's improvement something between 70 and 80 percent. Here we saw three basic bulk operations, inserts, updates and deletes, but this is not everything. In fact, Entity Framework Extensions is much bigger library and much complex library than this. So let me show you some other things that you might would like to see and to have it in your production environment. For example, when we talk about inserting data, bulk insert async has option to have options that you can set. There are a hundred various options you can set. Let's say you can set batch size. Batch size is a number of records to be inserted in one single database round trip. For example, also you can use insert if not exist. This will insert only new entities that aren't already in database. Also, you have something like keeping identity. So you have insert keep identity and you can set it to true. And if you set it to true, this allows you inserting specific values in identity column. There are a couple of more that are really interesting. For example, column input expression. And here you can create an expression to tell entity framework extensions which properties to map to the database. Because entity extensions allows you to choose which properties should be used in insertion. Similar to this, you have options ignore insert expression where you can create an expression for properties that you want to ignore and that should be out mapped. So there are many options that you can set and that you might need in real world cases and in real world applications. Link with content where you can find all of those scenarios. I will put down in the description and you can go there and find something useful for you. So from this perspective you might ask yourself why not just use CQL bulk copy library because it's a good one we can say. So the problem here is that a raw CQL bulk copy can be blazing fast but it works only with CQL server. On the other hand entity framework extensions has many benefits comparing with CQL bulk copy. As you see here in the example we tested it with PostgreSQL. Also it's not just about inserts. Entity framework extensions offer many methods like we saw bulk update, bulk delete. We have also some that we didn't cover in this video. Bulk merge, bulk synchronize, where bulk contains, etc. Also, we have a child entity management. Entity framework automatically handle complex objects. And what we saw at the last point, it's really configurable. So entity framework extensions provides hundreds of well-tested options. And to wrap up, entity framework core is great for day-to-day -day operations but if you want to be serious about performances in bug scenarios entity framework extensions is a must-have tool so if you found this video helpful hit that like button and subscribe for more.net comment and let me know in the comments if you would like to see more content on entity framework extensions topic see you in the next video bye